Welcome back to Stardew Valley and in the last part we got so much stuff done unexpectedly I did not expect to get that much stuff done because um, we went into the mine We got to level 40 and beyond and that unlocked some new minerals which and scrolls and stuff and enemies Which went to Gunther and the community center and we got enough uh, iron ore to upgrade our axe Which is currently in the process of being upgraded which is going to unlock um our ability to cut down that log blocking our way to that forest and also we just made 15,000 G's in uh, one night because of cranberries and pumpkins and I think on today the 19th of fall year one we will have 20 f oh we don't have 25,000 because I spent 5,000 on the axe right we've almost got 25,000 which will unlock the last step in the vault bundle in the community center which will unlock um oh the spirits are happy today They'll unlock the bus to the calico desert Ooh, we have uh, a couple things here yeah? i want to do that because we can put a couple more things into the community center Game is like, I'd like to buy a pumpkin for, from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming spirits eve festival caroline i can do that Although I sold most of my pumpkins, I did keep a couple. Fantastic. And, ooh, look at that. We got some uh, resin as well. That's oak resin. I think, um, is it used in any particular recipe? Uh, oak resin. Is it important or can I sell it? Oh, I need it for a keg and an iron bar and a copper bar and clay and thirst. I could build a keg now. Oh, geez. I mean, Pam has been thirsty for seasons now. Um, I, I definitely need this. Um, what else did I need? Um, let's uh, check the crafting. For the keg, clay, 30 wood. We can do that. Just one clay and 30 wood. There we go, 30 wood, clay, oak. No, no, I need that. So I need the oak resin, the clay, the 30 wood, the iron bar. Let's uh, put that there. A copper bar is on the way. A copper bar. And is that everything we need? We got a keg. Now, I've made a ton of hops. I'm going to put the keg back here for now. Now, let's, uh, let's grab, I mean, how many hops goes in? Is it just one? It's just one. <laughs> I saved so many hops. I could probably sell a lot of these hops, but we'll keep them for now. Now, we do need just, like, just another 3,000, which is uh, not too much money to make. And we got a bunch of sunflowers as well. Very nice. And we got some sunflower seeds. I don't know, they take eight days to produce a flower? Uh, which means we can replant it. Yeah. Um, hmm. How's a good way to do this? I could plant one there and it'll make watering that a bit more efficient. Now. Let's say hi to the chickens. We got another large egg. Very nice. Large egg makes gold... No, don't eat the large egg. Uh, large egg makes gold mayonnaise. Open the door. And, uh... Let's make some gold mayonnaise. And what else did I want to make? Right, I wanted to smelt another bit of... Iron ore and copper ore for the community center. So I need another five of those. And I just need one bit of coal so I can store that. Um, I w actually, I wanted to refine that quartz as well. Because um, I wanted to see how much it it's worth to sell a refined quartz. Sell the corn, sell the corn, sell the corn. I need to hold on to the pumpkin. And that's the frozen geode gonna smelt that and that's the iron ore is there space to store the rest of the iron ore for now yeah 
Okay. And is it worth selling fried eggs? Is it? Actually, no. <laughs> fried eggs aren't going to be worth, not worth it to sell. I'm going to turn it into mayonnaise. These two eggs here. All right. Let's do a quick bit of watering so it's not all in one shot. We don't have too many crops to water now, so it's much more manageable. There we go, that's enough for now. And if I have a bit more water... Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. <laughs> I missed, sorry, Kali. Just gonna wait for the bars to smelt. I was making the copper bar and the iron bar for the community center. Um, but... Uh, we had to use it for the keg, but finally we're gonna get a pale ale. And we'll let these fields deteriorate. We don't need any more of that. Now I should put these sunflowers down there, waiting for the axe. Who wanted the... Caroline? Where does this Caroline live? Um, it is Pierre's wife. Okay. Come on. And this rare seed is still growing. It's quite tall now. Nothing from the apple tree yet. Do the boiler room? I would love to do the boiler room, but look at this. I'm gonna check the bottom. Adventurous bundle. Solar essence and void essence. Where do those come from? I, I would, yeah, I'm gonna put the bat wings in. I don't have that many slimes yet, but uh, I've put that in. I don't know where to get a fire quartz. And these are bars which I'm making right now for the, the boiler room. Mayonnaise also makes a great gift. Most people like it except for Caroline and Sebastian. Okay. Oh, there's our iron bar. Gonna make the copper bar. These are going into the community center. That pumpkin's for something else. That's community center. That's for maybe a well. And we actually did get a bit of honey from, uh, from before. I'm storing it there just in case... Someone wants it. Yeah, you can get all those things from the mine. Um, yeah, but I've never seen them. <laughs> That's the thing. Void Essence and Solar Essence. I've never seen those things. Alright. Now we have all the things we need to head out. That's the community center. Yep. Let's head out. Tektron, you found me through my top 10 videos? A lot of people do. Those are my most watched videos. Uh, glad you enjoyed them. And where am I going now? I'm going to... Caroline first. See if she's at Pierre's. Oh, I wanted to check the calendar to see if I missed anyone's birthday. Oh, I missed Marnie's birthday yesterday. Oh, well, it's not important. <laughs> uh, Robin's birthday is coming up, then it's George's birthday, then it's Spirit's Eve. Okay. A cinematic? Oh. It's, uh... She's playing that game. Hello. I'm just in your room, you didn't know... <laughs> you just enter the room and she doesn't even know I'm here. You don't just enter someone's room uninvited. I know we're friends now, but come on. Gamer Zack, she says. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. Exactly, why am I a creep? I did not decide to do this. So I've been playing Journey of the Prairie Kings for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Okay, I can do that. I haven't played this since like the beginning of the game. Shoot is, uh... Okay. So this is a multiplayer game? I guess so. Oh, damn. I got hit. I am not good at this game. Um... Here they come, she says.
Um, I wonder if there's a reward for... Oh, she died. Come on, I can do this. I would offer to protect Abigail, but halfway done. Okay, that's good. Uh, but I don't think I'm much better at the game than she is. What is that? Oh, it's a machine gun! Just shoot everywhere! Oh, you can't actually just hold down the shoot button. Oh, that's a uh, kill everything. Oh, and I got an extra life. Very nice. Hey, we did it! We did it! MLG Pro Gamer. <laughs> Hey, that was fun! Well, thanks! You seem re to really know your way around the joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. How does that make sense? I'm a farmer! Hello, Pierre. We're all gonna hang out in the saloon this evening? It's kind of like a Friday tradition, I guess. Oh! I love how you slowly find out more things about uh, people as you go through the game. They hang out? Oh, they're all going to hang out at the f saloon, so Caroline will be there. Fantastic. I can go find her later. Now, uh, ooh, there's a... feel like throwing corn as hard as I can against the mountain face. Please deliver to Sebastian at 24 Mountain Road. Okay. Sebastian wants a bit of corn. And there's Haley. Hello. Is that a grass stain on your knee? Sorry, I'm allergic to grass. Now... I know she likes sunflowers, and I do have a bunch of sunflowers. This is my favorite thing, okay. Uh, is that Caroline? What does she look like again? This is not Caroline, right? This is Jody. Yeah, this is Jody. Alright, I gotta get a bit of corn for Sebastian. <laughs> you sure know your way around the joystick, I guess that makes sense, I guess. You guys are talking about that in chat. <laughs> um, okay. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Um, I wanted to sell these. Didn't I? No, no. I, I wanted that. Put that in there. Grab a bit of corn. Keeping that there. Keeping that there. Keeping that there. Did I sell one already? I did. Can I clear anything out of here? Stone fence. Why do I have those there? I'm just gonna put this down. No, I didn't want the fence to be there, did I? I wanted it to be there. Oh well, never mind. That's fine. Alright, so I've got uh, Sebastian to see. Sebastian is... The guy who lives on the beach, right? No, that's Elliot. Sebastian is the emo dude. Right, he wants to throw a bit of corn out of the, the face of the mountain. <laughs> okay. If you must. Let's drop by the community center, though. I don't think our axe is going to be ready today. Maybe tomorrow or the day after. But let's drop by the, the boiler room. We do actually have quite a few things to put in here. Uh, not the oh no, the adventures bundle. We got the bat wings. Oh, we actually don't need solar essence or void essence. I just realized we only need two things here. The ninety nine slimes are a little hard to get though. But uh, the geologist bundle, we don't have that. But the blacksmith's bundle, we have the copper bar. Where's my iron bar? Did I accidentally put the iron bar? Instead of the refined quartz in the chest. I think I did. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go see if we can find 
Sebastian. He usually, I don't know, does he stray far? Let's check his home. He's usually just hiding up here in his room. I'd love to give you what you want, but he won't let me in the room. <laughs> okay, but while we're here, we can uh, check. A thousand gold and 75 stone. We could actually build that. But I'm saving for the bus to Calico Desert right now. Uh, if we can get the 25,000 for the bus, we will uh, we'll then get a well. Not very useful in the winter, but it's something I want to do. I wanted to sell this as well. What? Why is Maru going here? Oh, she just sits here. I bet we'll start seeing more people in the clinic soon because of winter, I guess. All right. Now, I messed up organizing my stuff at home. So there's not much else we need to do today. So I'm just going to go do that. I'm actually just waiting on the axe because I want to check out that uh, the forest. Because if you look at the map, there's that forest back there, but there's this big, uh, um, log in the way. Ooh, let's uh, not miss that. A book? Yes. A lost, lost book for the library's collection. The library's collection of books is actually uh, like an advanced tutorial system. Now, I stored the iron bar by accident and I wanted to sell the mayonnaise. Right? Yeah. That's correct. So I got the pumpkin, the corn, and the iron bar. Fantastic. I haven't checked the beach for a long time as well. There should actually be some corals there which I could uh, sell. And we're just edging on 25,000. How much money have I earned so far? 111,000, not bad. Now, I did actually read that the boiler room was one of the easiest bundles to complete. And I thought that was wrong because I thought I needed a void essence or solar essence. Um, turns out I was just looking at it wrong. Uh, not here. But then again, I've never come across a fire quartz either. This is supposed to go here. And a gold bar is not cheap. It's not cheap. But it is, um, it unlocks the, the mine carts around town, which I guess is a fast travel system. All right, that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. Uh, frozen Geode, we're gonna have to crack that open once Clint is done with uh, our axe. All right, let's drop by the beach. Haven't been there for a while. Oh, hello. Do you have a kitchen in your house? I do. If you have a kitchen, you can cook all kinds of delicious meals. She loves food. Anyway, I'm gonna give her this sunflower. There you go. And keep that there. Just keeping things organized. Have we gained a heart yet? No, still at three. This is Elliot. My legs are stiff from sitting and writing at my desk all morning. I'm sure they are. No coral? Autumn's not a great season for coral. Dried starfish, some clay. Oh, actually, there's quite a bit over here. I think it builds up over time, so it's okay if I miss a couple days. All right, that's quite quite good. And that's gonna bring this day to a close. It's Friday. Is that weird? Um. Uh, that person who's selling uh, out-of-season goods. Is she here on Friday? Or was it just weekends? I can't remember. Oh! Right, every evening, well, every Friday evening, Pierre's family goes to the saloon. So let's, uh, let's go to the saloon. Because 
Caroline should be here. Right? No? Wait, hold on. Who are you again? Emily. Okay. There's Pam. That's Leah. There's Marnie. There's Pierre. Oh! Sebastian's here. Sebastian is the one who wanted this, right? Yes. So you can have this. New achievement? Gopher? I don't know what that means. Thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. What? What's a gopher? What achievement is that, even? Okay, so Abigail's here. Pierre is here. What does Caroline look like again? The green hair, right? Yeah. What's that? There's an interactable there? Hmm. That must be another secret. Okay. But where's Caroline? Abigail's here. Pierre is here. Caroline? No? I guess not. That's nice, though. I'm gonna have to find her another day. Let's head back. Ah, It was a productive day, surprisingly. It felt like I didn't do that much, but I think I actually did. Tomorrow I'll check and see if my axe is ready. Meanwhile, let's sell what we can. I'm gonna sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. I think I'm just gonna sell those. And the dried starfish, we can sell that. Okay. And let's uh, put that in there. Do I wanna sell any of this stuff? I could probably sell the bat wings now, but I'm sure there's some important use and I shouldn't sell it. I have one gold ore. I can't even remember where I got that from. I think I dug it up out of the ground. No, I think it's fine. Did I water all my plants? I think I forgot to water a couple. Yeah, I didn't water those. And maybe those? Yeah. The pale ale is not ready yet, but I'm hoping that's gonna get us some cash as well. Oh, let's close the barn door. I always forget to do this. There we go. Now we can move on to the next day. This house is starting to look quite nice. We made a decent amount of money. 2,000. That's good. We're so close to 25,000. We are at 24,000. We just need another 900. 900. Fortune teller. Somewhat annoyed today. Alright, so we're not going mining. We got some mail though. I've heard you've been giving people some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Yes! 500! Now, if we have anything to harvest, we could sell it at Pierre's and maybe earn enough money. With luck, maybe we got a couple mushrooms. We got some mushrooms. I'm not sure if Pierre buys mushrooms. But if we could sell all this to Pierre, we'll get 25,000 today. And we can unlock the bus to the Calico Desert. Alright, just do a bit of watering. So it's not all one shot. Let's check uh, the chickens. Okay. 
Two eggs. Thank you. That allows a couple more bits of mayonnaise. If anything, we will be able to unlock the bus to Calico Desert tomorrow. That pale ale is not that- oh, more mail, I didn't realize. I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden, I bet you can put it to some good use, take care. Basic retaining soil. I don't really have a use for this. Am I storing this anywhere? I guess I can just put it in there. I actually have a lot of storage space here, but this was my trash box. Alright, so we're gonna try sell these at Pierre's. So I'm just gonna wait for 9 o'clock. And maybe we'll get that one bit of mayonnaise. I don't know if uh, Pierre will buy mayonnaise. But we'll find out. But we actually hit our goal of 25,000. And we're gonna have some to spare this season because there's still another one, maybe two cranberry harvests. But at least watering the crops is now quite manageable. We could try go get 99 slimes. How many do we have? We got 28. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to get 99 slimes. It is 99 slimes, right, for the boiler room? Yeah, 99 slimes. And a gold bar. And the fire quartz. I could buy gold ore to make the gold bar, but that's it's so expensive. Oh well, it's 9 o'clock. Let's just head out. We're going to drop by Clint as well. See if our uh, axe is ready. Oh, there's so much to do. But I think I'll be able to cover everything by the end of the first year. Oh, we could look for Caroline as well while we're here. Pierre, do you buy mushrooms? You do. So I'm going to sell the corn. Gonna sell the morals and that and that. And we have 25,000. Caroline, are you here? Yes, she is. Okay, good. Why weren't you at the saloon last night? Alright, it is a. Uh... Caroline? Yeah, wants a pumpkin? There you go. Fantastic. Does that get us... It gets us 500 gold. Fantastic. The bridge will give you everything you will need for the boiler room. The bridge is... Uh, unlocked by... This one, the crafts room, which is the winter foraging bundle. So I have to wait for winter, basically. There's lots of gold ore after level 80. Where am I going? I'm going to Clint. Level 80? That's quite far down. Let's see if my axe is ready though. The spirits were annoyed today, I think. I shouldn't go mining. It can be quite dangerous. The day I died at the... Hey, we got a steel axe! Yes! Fantastic. And also, I want to process geodes. I got this frozen geode. Open this for me. What is that? Ocean stone. Something for Gunther, I guess. Alright, Gunther. Starting to get some rare items here. Yeah? Ocean stone is a mineral crystal thing, so I'm gonna put it here. It's called a stone, but it looks like a crystal. There we go. No reward? No? Okay. But I did dig up a new book. What is this book? Mysteries of the Dwarves. The Dwarves call themselves Smoluanu, which translates to Sky People, an odd name for a group that lives deep underground, isn't it? Another mystery of the Dwarves is the advanced technology they're supposedly possess, evidence such as this had led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves are the remnants of a once advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on the planet long ago. 
I proposed that this dwarvish spaceship bore down deep underground, and over time the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask why didn't they come above ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation, and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they only surface at night, to take what they need from our houses. They do that? M. Jasper. I know there's a, a dwarf in the mines. Ocean stone. Claims these stones are the mosaics of ancient mermaids. Okay. But we have 25,000. Let's go unlock the bus to the Calico Desert. It should also give us some sort of reward as well, besides the bus unlock. But this is the first bundle that we are going to be completing. Now, I was in, we've completed lots of bundles so far, but um, this is the first complete set that we're finishing up. And it is pretty much the easiest one. It's just money required. But let's, uh, yeah, let's go do it. I'm excited. What's it gonna do? Right here, the vault. Last one, 25 gold bundle. Look at that treasure chest. Purchase. Reward? Crystallarium. Insert the gem of your choice and it will grow copies. Oh, okay. And then? Whoa, the whole... Lots of little apple things. We are the Junimos, keeper of the forest. Keepers of the forest. They got some interior design sense too. He's saying something. He's excited. I just gave you a lot of money. A star. To put on this wall? I love how there's still new things to see. We got a star. And this guy's following us now. Is there anything in this room that we should know about? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, put diamonds in the crystallarium? It's a tip for a lot of money. Oh. Put in gems and it makes copies. Alright. We have some gems, but also... Hi, Abigail. Do you have any scarecrows on your farm? I do. But wait, that that should have... Uh, the vault's not even there. But the bus should be operational now, right? The bus to Calico Desert is out of service. Maybe it takes a day or two to get functioning. Oh well, let's head back. Why is... Oh, she's walking over there. Okay. Alright, we gotta sell that as well. So we'll sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Okay, good. Store that there. And the crystallarium. Let's see if we can copy something. What should I copy? The aquamarine? Yeah, let's copy the aquamarine. And we'll put the crystallarium in our house. Now I've grown crystals before. They require a stable environment. And uh, stable temperatures. I'm just gonna put it here, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna be good. But I also uh, want to move this. And I'll put it here. Because it suits the theme. Actually, it looks better there, doesn't it? <laughs> Aquamarine, get in there. Wait till I see who's driving the bus. Oh, okay. Uh, meanwhile, it's still early enough. We have 
a steel axe. And, oh, we have a pale ale. Oh, we got so much stuff. Oh, come on. We have a pale ale for Pam. Let's water that. I guess we'll we'll check out the forest tomorrow. We'll go try find Pam. I know she's at the saloon every night. But let's uh, get her the pale ale. She's been thirsty forever. Now let's make sure Pam is the person we're thinking of. We've given her... We've confused Pam for Marnie a few times. Alright. She is the one that drinks a lot. Alright, Pam, where would you be? She's either at her home, or Joja Mart, or the saloon. Let's check her home first. She lives here, I think. Not here? Okay. I've seen her over at Joja Mart. There she is. Pam! Would you do me a kindness and clean up my house? No, just kidding. You want this pale ale. There we go, give me that slurp. Ah, that's the stuff. It's real nice and hoppy. Notes of citrus and pine, but with a robust body to keep it grounded. Thanks kid, this means a lot to me. I knew I could count on you. Just took a couple seasons. <laughs> and now our only main objective is to reach the bottom of the mine, which I don't think we're going to be doing anytime soon. But... We can head on to the next day, I think. Uh, it's a bit late to be exploring the forest right now. Go to the woods, it's a quick trip. Yeah, okay. It's down this way, right? Uh, we'll, we'll have a quick look at the woods, we, since we got the axe. Might as well, right? Ah. <sighs> Finally, we're unlocking some new areas. We're unlocking two new areas today with the Steel Axe and the Buster Calico Desert. We'll grab that. And, uh, it's Saturday. Is Saturday one of the days? No. No one's selling anything. So it's just through here. Can we now? We can break this now, right? Yes, we can! Just making sure. Oh, that's a lot of hardwood. Seven? But we can now walk through. Oh, there's monsters here? Is this secret woods? Oh. If there's slimes here, it might be better for me to harvest slime from here. It's a shorter trip than to the mines. And we can grab some more hardwood while we're here. And there's mushrooms too. So if we didn't get the mushrooms in the cave... Oh, there's... There's ruins here. And there's a lake. I'm sure there's some special fish from that lake. But what is this? Old Master Cannoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. Huh. Grab a few slimes. And then a lake. I'm not sure if there's any fish in that lake, but... Now, I'm going to assume this is our source of hardwood. So I'm going to assume that this stuff grows back. These stumps. Because I don't know how else to get hardwood. I, the ones on our farm, they don't grow back. All right, let's head back. So that statue is searching for the finest of tastes. Can we just... Do we offer food to it? Let's try this blackberry. Or maybe the mushrooms. I love how it doesn't explain... This is... The creator of Stardew Valley actually uses a lot of the same concepts as uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't explain things. It's just like, ooh, what's this? It's a sense of wonder. Do you offer things to this? No? You don't want 
Maybe the chanterelle? No? Doesn't seem like I can do anything to it. I'm not sure if it's interactable even. Still searching for the sweetest of tastes. I don't know what that means. But we got a bunch of hardwood now. That would be handy for things. I know a hardwood fence lasts like an entire year. Alright, but let's uh... We gotta take a break. <laughs> got some productive days ahead of us and behind us. Let's make sure I have... It did mention I should have enough hay saved up for the winter. I think we're gonna have plenty of hay. We barely use any. Now I did water everything already. Let's just close the coop door. Now remember this is the Enterprise. Inside resides Captain Shikard. And let's uh let's store up the important stuff. Store that. Store that, store that. And we're gonna sell these mushrooms. Chanterelle, red mushroom, 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 grape. 31 slimes, there's so many to go. But we actually have enough money and I think stone to build a well. Let's go to sleep. Oh, there we go. Those ghost things are restoring the bus, huh? Ah, on the 20th of fall, year one. All right, another thousand gold there, mainly from foraging, all those mushrooms. But I'm going to take a quick break and uh, yeah, it's been a good couple days. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Stick around and I will see you in the next part.